y'all. Welcome back to Kim's Southern Sanctuary. If this is your first time with us, I'm Kim, military wife, working mom of two preteen girls. Today I have a haul for you. It's not just groceries, but it's, it's just a little bit of everything. Nora had Christmas money that was burning a hole in her pocket. So we went into town and spent, oh, about four or five hours in town, way longer than we should have. And we spent way more money than we should have. Um, we went to a lot of different places off the top of my head right now. I can't even, can't even think of where we went, but, um, we got some groceries. We got all kinds of stuff, clothes, books, you name it. And we probably got it today. So I'm going to show y'all everything we bought. Well, not everything, but most of it you'll get to see. All right, let's start off with the groceries. Cause I really need to go put my cold stuff up. We went to Walmart. My plan was just to pick up a couple things at walmart that weren't groceries and then go over to max fresh market that's a little grocery store that's closer to our house that i like um but yeah that didn't happen it started to get late and we needed to get home because chris had gone hunting and emily stayed at home and i was getting tired and um my debit card was um it was getting tired too so this is um this is just my groceries that i bought we'll start off with over here, Emily needed shampoo. She uses this Refresh Scalp Care Anti-Dandruff Shampoo. That's pretty good because she's got some bad dandruff. So, that tends to work pretty good on her. I needed freezer bags. So, I got freezer bags in gallon and quart size. I made a huge pot of chili the other day and I need to freeze the rest of that. Cabbage for my smothered cabbage that you're going to be seeing here in the next couple days because, you know, you got to eat your cabbage on New Year's. I don't know why. It hasn't, I don't know. I don't know why I've got to eat it, but they, my husband told me we had to, so that's what we're going to do. Uh, I got a couple bell peppers, onions. I got some of this original, the Walmart Easy Mac, because the kids like to eat that. That's the nastiest stuff on the face of the earth, if you ask me. Just nasty. But I got it for them for quick lunches. Uh, I got a loaf of bread, gallon of milk. We were out of pizza sauce, so we need pizza sauce. Got two tomato sauces just because I was out of those. And then I got the um, Trappy's Black Eyed Peas flavored with slab bacon. So we're going to have that on New Year's Day too, yet again. We eat it, and it's supposed to work for something, and it never does. Two packages of chili seasoning mix. I love to make some chili. Taco seasoning mix because we will make tacos or taco salads here in the next couple days. The other day, um, on one of the channels that I watched, The Hodgepodge Life of Jessie, she showed this creamy spinach bake that she bought. And we like cream spinach. Chris has like fallen in love with it recently. And I have to make cream spinach at least once a week. So I saw this on her channel. And she says it's really good, so we're going to give this a try. So, I got a, a creamy spinach bake, and then for when we hit back our keto next week, I got some mashed cauliflower, the sour cream, and chai. Now, I really like the Kroger brand, so when we go to Kroger's, they've got a couple different flavors of the uh, mashed cauliflower. So, we saw these birthday cake waffles, and they the girls like to eat waffles, but they had birthday cake waffles they had some mermaid ones and then some unicorn ones but Nora was like mama those other ones kind of look weird so we're gonna try these birthday cake waffles and see how they like those string cheese for the girls for snack Chris likes to have um sausage patties for breakfast so I got a, a pack of this because we cooked all of what we had last week um, for breakfast I got some smoked sausage uh, this is the Manda sausage I'm going to use it when I cook my cabbage. So, it goes in the smothered cabbage recipe that I'm going to be doing. Uh, Nora finished out all of the turkey this week. So, I had to get some more turkey. I was running low on paper towels. So, I got a six-pack of paper towels and Coke Zero. So, that was the grocery part of Walmart. Uh, I don't quite remember. I don't even know what the grocery part, how much it costs. But... Um, I think altogether my whole Walmart haul was like 148 But that also includes this stuff right here. Y'all, I can't go to Walmart with Nora. Because I go with a list and then I go with Nora. And it like, it, we just get all this stuff that we don't need. But, 
but I got it. So, the first thing I got, they had some new hoodies out in the women's section. So, um, I got Nora this one. It's a Skishy Love Scooby-Doo, and, and it says Snack, Nap, and Repeat. And that sounds just about like her. So, we got her that one. And then Emily loves the Baby Yoda and the Mandalorian. So, they did not have this one at Christmas time. Had they had it, I'd have bought it for her. But they had um, this one today. And these were like $16. So, I got Emily that one. Um, for Christmas, I got my mama just these cotton athletic pants just to wear every day because she's retired. And so, this morning when I talked to her, she's like, hey, where'd you get those pants at at Walmart? And I told her, and she's like, I went online because I was going to buy me some more, and they don't deliver. I have to go into the store. And I said, well, I'm going to Walmart today, so I'll get you a couple more pairs. So, I got her this black pair, and they're only $9.97. And then I got her um, a navy blue pair. They also had maroon and a green looking color. Um, I got her the light gray ones for Christmas. So, you know, now that she's home and she's retired, she, she just likes to lounge. And so she likes the way those fit. She said they're not baggy in the legs. And so I was like, you know what? I'll go buy you some more. So love my mama. So I always buy her stuff. And then I bought myself a new hoodie. It's a navy blue or no royal blue hoodie. Uh, and these are just those athletic works. Um, hoodies from Walmart, and they cost like, I don't know, $14, $15. They're super soft on the inside, and they've got a hood, and so I'll wear these while we're out of school, but then when I go back to work, I wear these as well, and then they have the jogging pants, y'all, that go with them, and they're just regular old jogging pants with a cuff at the bottom and um, drawstrings, and I think these are about $14 or $15 too. They're super soft. I have a navy blue pair. And I was like, I'm going to get myself a black pair, too. So, that is Walmart. So, all together, clothes and groceries, that total was $148. All right. Here's everything else that we bought. And this right here was a good chunk of change. So, um, yeah, small little haul, but it costs a good bit of money. Um, we went to Marshall's just to look around. Um, I bought one of these shelf organizers uh two weeks ago for my pantry and i really liked it so i went on ahead and bought another one of these um it was only 3.99 so i can use this to uh stack my canned goods on i also got this um soho bistro accent rug i have a light gray one um outside my front door but i'm gonna i like it so much that i'm gonna put it um on the floor at my back door because it's like super easy to keep clean it's got a foam cushion on the bottom and i can wipe it off with a rope with a, just a mop like when i mop so um and that was 19.99 so my whole marshall's total i do believe was uh 26.37 for those things uh nor wanted to go to books a million so we ran to books a million and i need a new planner um last year i used the happy planner and i went to michael's and they were so expensive they're like 25 to 30 to 40 dollars and so when we went over to books a million i knew i had seen some planners there and y'all they had their planners for 50 percent off and this is just um it's called life organized and i can say that it is the same setup that i would normally use um in the happy planner because it's got your it's got your monthly view but then and i love this your weekly calendar it's got three blocks per day. So, I'll usually do like different categories for my day. And then it has just different notes on that side um, that you can use. So, that that was pretty inexpensive. Uh, it only costs me $13.75. So, $13.75 of Books A Million. Um, I let Nora go on over to Books A Million and I ran in at Michael's real quick. And I got Nora and Emily both a planner um, to kind of help them stay organized for, at school because with Nora being on hybrid before the holidays, it was a hot mess. We couldn't keep up with what assignments she needed to do and when things were due. So, Chris and I decided that we were going to get both of them a planner 
and um, try to keep stuff organized this way. These were on clearance for $3.97. Um, and it's just a January to June, which for them is perfect. And that's the setup of it. It's, I mean, it's perfect for, you know, what we're going to need. They can write assignments down um, and things that are due, you know, for their week. And then at the beginning of the month, it's got a spot where you can write important dates, priorities, birthdays, and appointments. So these were only $3.97, and I think they're gonna work good for what we needed. So altogether at Michael's, I spent $8.73. We started our little trip off at Target. So I had a couple things I needed to get. Um, we like these Atkins bars. I like the chocolate peanut butter bars. This was $12. And Chris likes the peanut butter granola. I couldn't find it in a big box, but this box of, um, Five was eight dollars and then I was looking for some some more of my Grove collaborative um cleaner because I haven't gotten an order lately and I'm trying to really hang off but I saw this I see a lot of people using method and this is the honey crisp apple so we're gonna try that it was like 329 I believe um I got some apple cider vinegar pills. My niece told me that her and her fiance are dieting right now. And she said they did apple cider vinegar pills. And she said it's really helped her with like bloating and has increased her metabolism. So we're going to try those. Um, I got the Blockbuster Party Game. I have been eyeing this game for like a year. Um, the girls' elf, Marvin, brought them some games right before Christmas. And one of the games was like a movie game. And um, it had different cards with different movies on them. And you could either act them out, draw them, describe them. And we had the best time playing that game. And Chris was like, that was really fun. I wish we could find, you know, some more games like that. So, I went, went while we were at Target. I just went on ahead and got this Blockbuster Party game. Um, Chris and I spent many a date nights roaming the aisles of Blockbuster. So this brings back memories for us. And then I went on ahead and I got Chris um, a planner as well. So we're going to be planning our lives away here at the sanctuary coming up this week. Um, we also went to Best Buy. I got a MacBook Pro for Christmas. Chris bought me one. And, you know, Apple doesn't use the same cords as everybody else. So you got to have an adapter for this cord and an adapter for that cord. So, I needed to get a USB-C to USB adapter. Um, and this was the cheapest one I could find. It was like $9.99. So, I'm going to see if this works. And then, I've kind of been eyeballing these fire TV sticks. And I should have got it last week when I saw it because they were on sale for $17.99. But I didn't. So, we're going to go on ahead and we're going to try the Fire TV Stick light um, on our TV in the living room um, and see how well we like it. Um, this was $29.99. Had I ordered it last week, it would have been $17.99, but I didn't. So, I also at um, Best Buy bought Emily a new TV. They had their 24-inch Insignia TVs on sale for $69.99, and she's already got it upstairs, so um, it was $69.99, so I think my whole total at Best Buy was $130, and that was totally enough. Now, I did find at Marshall's two um, bedside tables that I want to go back and get. They were $99 each, and I'm hoping that Chris likes them, because if he likes them, then that's what we're going to go get. I'm going to make him take me. So, all in all, this was a, a five-hour shopping trip, and that was enough. I have no plans to go back to town this week unless we just really forget something. Um, Grocery-wise, we're doing well. We got meat in the freezer, so... Um, hopefully I won't have to go back to the grocery store for anything. So if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. We hope y'all enjoyed this haul and we'll see y'all later.